Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Addition of Numbers Up to 10. In this tutorial we will introduce for the first time the vertical format. This is also known as Long Addition. You can use either name Vertical Format or Long Addition. So let's have a look at our first example and go through how the vertical format is written. And there is our question. We're just going to put the equal sign at the bottom. Now you will see this in textbooks in school. This is very, very common and you will come across this all the time. So it's very important you learn the foundations of this. So the vertical format means that it's just written in columns. Now on the right hand side, the column here is the units column. Okay, We have to do 6 plus 2, it's the units column on the right. We are going to label the column next to it, which is tens. We don't have anything there, but that's the tens column. We'll just label these units and tens. We write them down in as T and U for shorthand. So the question we have is 6 plus 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a circle, well, or I should say I'm going to circle the numbers we are going to add. Here we go, we're doing it in yellow, it's 6 plus 2. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing that. Well later on we're going to go into addition of two digit numbers and then three digit, four digit. So this is the way to explain it best. We're starting as we always do on the right hand side. It's always first we add we add the number on the right hand side first, which is the units. So we've got six plus two. So what is six plus two? Well, we can put two dots here. We can use the dot method. You can use your fingers as well. 6 plus 2, you should know this by now with your mental arithmetic, 6 plus 2 is 8. And we'll write this down in red over here. 6 plus 2 is 8. And that's it. That is the vertical format. 6 plus 2 equals 8. We write it in nice, neat columns. I cannot emphasize that enough. You have to write them in nice, neat columns. OK, right, we're now going to move on to our second example. This time we have 8 plus 4. So what is 8 plus 4? Now this one is a little bit tricky. Now we don't have to, but I am going to label the columns again. We've got the units and then we've got the tens. Which two numbers are we adding together? Well, we're adding, we're starting on the right hand side, the units. So let's circle the units. Again, you don't have to do this, I'm just highlighting this. We will be adding 8 and 4. Now, through your mental arithmetic, you should know how to do this. Use your fingers if necessary, or you can just put dots here. And just count upwards 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Count the dots 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, how do we write that down, 12? Well, what we do is, first we put a 1 here, and then we put 2 here. This is 12. The 1 over here, and I'll just highlight it, is a 10. Okay, it's a T, it's a 10. And that's how we write 12. Once we have added the units, we then move to the column on the left. We always go left. And that is the tens. Now as you can see, there are no tens here, there are no tens here, but there is one here. So we add that in. And the answer is 12. Now you're probably wondering why I put a 1 over here. What was the purpose of that? Well, we are going to come to adding two-digit numbers, and then we will be adding the ones over here and the ones over here, okay? There will be numbers on this side as well. 
but we'll come on to that in a moment. Right, just to reinforce this, we're going to go through one more example. This time we've got 9 plus, actually I'm just going to change this around. This time we're going to be adding 10 plus 6. 10 plus 6. Okay, now first things first, we're going to label the columns. We've got units, U for units, and T for tens. Now we know the sign, it's adding, so we're doing addition. And we're going to start on the right hand side first. Okay, always on the right hand side. I'm going to highlight this by circling the units column. So we've got 0 plus 6. We start with that. 0 plus 6, well that's easy. Anything, pl anything plus, well, any number plus 0 becomes that number. It is 6. That doesn't change. Okay, we've done the units column. We're now going to do the tens column. Okay, so we've done the units, and then we move to the column on the left, which is the tens. Now, what do we have in the tens column? We've got a 1 here, but we've got nothing over here. In effect, that's a 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 10 plus 6 is 16. Now, you have a practice with some numbers, and see if you can do the addition using the vertical format. It's very, very simple. Just follow the basic principles.